nothing remarkable about this tree. It's the common white willow. Nothing remarkable, so it seemed, until the Reverend Edward Stone in 1763 reported that an extract from the bark could cure malaria. While his expectations of a miraculous cure were premature, the substance did reduce fever. Yet his observations remained largely forgotten and it would take 75 years before chemists would isolate the active organic molecule in the bark, salicylic acid, which lowers fever. Salicylic acid is a compound which consists of a 1,2-di-substituted benzene ring. The functional groups on the benzene ring are a carboxylic acid and a hydroxyl group. The benzene ring together with the hydroxyl group form what is called a phenol. Around 1870, a German chemist substituted salicylic acid for phenol which was a corrosive germ killer. Patients with typhoid and other serious infections reported feeling much better. However, while the salicylic acid relieved the pain of the illness, it had no effect on the illness itself. The medication was a success. Unfortunately, the patients died. Further experiments did, however, establish that salicylic acid could bring relief to patients suffering from minor ailments. While salicylic acid did lower fever, relieve pain, and reduce swelling, it was corrosive to the mucous membranes of the mouth and stomach. So it was back to the drawing board. Early attempts to reduce the irritating properties of salicylic acid included reacting it with sodium hydroxide. This reaction forms the sodium salt called sodium salicylate. Sodium salicylate relieved minor discomfort, but it was intolerably sweet and patients could not be persuaded to take it. It so happened that one of these patients had a son, Felix Hoffman, who worked as a research chemist for the Bayer Company in Germany. Having a hunch that it was the phenyl portion of salicylic acid which was corrosive, he decided to mask the phenyl. Using acetic anhydride, he replaced the hydrogen with an acetyl group. And so the synthetic compound, acetyl salicylic acid, was born. The compound was patented and named aspirin, after A in acetyl, and spira from the Latin name of the meadowsweet plant, another natural source of salicylic acid. Formerly a paint and dye company, Bayer became firmly established in the pharmaceutical business. The derivatives of salicylic acid are called salicylates. Sodium salicylate, oil of wintergreen, and acetyl salicylic acid, or ASA. Of all the non-narcotic drugs, ASA is the most effective and least harmful analgesic, or pain reliever, also capable of reducing fever and inflammation. But it wasn't until the 1970s that chemists and physiologists began to understand how ASA works. Aspirin relieves the symptoms of disease and injury by interrupting chemical messengers.
The chemical messengers are formed from cellular membrane phospholipids, or tissue fat. At the site of injury, for example, fatty acid molecules are released from the phospholipid layer. Then, through a series of enzymatic reactions, fatty acids are converted to prostaglandins, the chemical messengers. The primary structure of a prostaglandin is a 20-carbon compound containing a carboxylic acid group and a five-membered ring. Different types of prostaglandins mediate pain, inflammation, or fever. The miraculous benefit of ASA is its ability to block the production of prostaglandins. ASA is particularly useful for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Typically, rheumatoid arthritis involves the painful swelling of joints in the fingers and wrist. Together with exercise, diet, and rest. ASA relieves the pain and alleviates the inflammation, but it does not cure the disease. When the world consumes 100,000 tons of aspirin per year, one wonders whether the drug isn't being abused. While ASA disguises the symptoms of a serious ailment, using aspirin to block the pain signals is a little like killing the bearer of bad news. And chronic ASA therapy is not without side effects. Prolonged treatment reduces the mucus lining in the stomach and upper intestine. Stripped of this protective layer, a person can develop peptic ulcers. There are innumerable brand names for ASA. And despite pharmaceutical claims, the only difference in the active ingredient is a variation in the amount of ASA in each tablet. Some companies include caffeine, as much as you'd find in one cup of coffee. There are other non-narcotic headache remedies which do not contain ASA. Their active ingredient is another phenol-based compound, acetaminophen. In acetaminophen, the two functional groups are opposite each other in the 1-4 positions compared to ASA. Acetaminophen is absorbed and metabolized in the body much the same way as ASA. It is an effective analgesic and anti-fever medication. However, it does not have anti-inflammatory properties. The history of aspirin, like all science chronicles, contains a moral. The primary formula for this important painkiller was provided by a tree. And as the forests and jungles of the planet are felled, we may well be eliminating plants that could provide the wonder drugs for what ails us today.